Uh, yes and no at the same time. <laughs> Final Fantasy VII Advent Children has been a widely discussed topic over the last month and a half ever since Katase came out and directly was quoted saying that the remake series with Rebirth and Remake will be eventually leading up and linking up to Advent Children's story. A lot of people have been dissecting that and looking into it and of course uh, classifying it as a major spoiler. <laughs> but there's actually some more details that have dropped where we now learned Final Fantasy VII Rebirth will be getting new gameplay, new interview footage as well during the pre-screening of Final Fantasy VII Advent Children, which is happening in February, the week before Final Fantasy VII Rebirth releases on February 29th. This is uh, releasing, I believe, on the 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. Final Weapon has tweeted out and confirmed that uh, with Final Fantasy VII Advent Children Complete coming to US theaters in February, a new short film would air before the movie, featuring new interviews with the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth development team and Advent Children creators alongside action-packed gameplay from the game. This is actually tweeted out yesterday and confirmed by a bunch of different outlets, but yeah, it pretty much says that is the case. The film will air in the United States on February 21st in English dub and February 22nd in Japanese sub. And again, alongside the release of Advent Children Complete in theaters, a special short film with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth will premiere before the film, and it will include new interviews with the Rebirth development team and Advent Children creators alongside action-packed gameplay from the game uh people that have been trying to avoid spoilers desperately i mean it's square enix so <laughs> if you're gonna go see Advent children in theaters maybe maybe wait a little bit before uh sitting down if you don't want to see any of this footage you never know i mean their final trailer which will probably be out by the time this is already released or will be airing during that they're pretty rough they're pretty rough it's uh i don't blame people for wanting to avoid them it is what it is it's for whatever reason they like to showcase a lot of crazy details uh with their games before they release it's not just exclusive to final fantasy they've done it with other franchises that they've owned so yeah keep that in mind but this has been a heavy topic of discussion because katase when he was talking with i guess game radar plus and a bunch of other outlets have reported on this he specifically says avon children will connect with the remake trilogy as events will be similar enough to let that happen uh i guess the quote directly is we are finally going to link up with advent children that is going to be part of the canon the overall storyline the developments will not go out wildly in a way that will not add up to advent children in the end i don't think anyone wanted that that's not what we're looking to create here there's a lot of people that have been hanging on this topic right here link up or sync up with advent children that definitely can correlate towards uh big spoilers in regards to some of the major events that do occur in that and it makes me wonder if they're going to be maybe doing an advent children game at the end of this or dlc <laughs> i wouldn't be mad at that i would actually enjoy and like that of course for more final fantasy coverage hit that subscribe button and notification bell to help raise at 38 percent only subbed even higher and so you don't miss out on any other details to stay in the loop now with that being said let's get back into the video and you can sort of tell by with them talking about this back in november i mean this is all part of their marketing they're specifically doing various things like remastering and remastering. i guess you could say crisis core reunion so this way people that didn't play the psp version can finally play it up to date right now and everywhere it's available on every single platform except for mobile where you can learn about zach's story and that prequel essence of final fantasy 7 because zach will be featured heavily in rebirth so they want to make sure that people are up to date on what exactly that character went through and what he stands for and now they're also mentioning specifically hey advent children is also canon and we want fans to know about that so talking about it in november announcing now that they're going to be doing a theatrical re-release of it in february obviously this is all part of their marketing they want the compilation the world of final fantasy 7 to be understood and viewed by a lot of fans that are new and also uh old to get a refresher of it i've seen Advent children a lot i've seen uh the complete edition a lot it's pretty good i love the changes that they did in the complete edition so if it's something you haven't checked out i definitely recommend it but if you're trying to avoid spoilers is <laughs> i would say there's probably a 90 percent chance they showcase that final trailer right before the one that everybody's been trying to avoid that they will showcase that right before the movie starts so again viewer discretion you might want to just hang out in the hallway before you walk into the theater <laughs> and just listen for the uh the intro of the movie starting uh based off of whatever the crowd is saying in your theater there are multiple ways they can go about with the story of rebirth remake etc that can make it link up with advent children and we've we've seen that pretty much being the case in a lot of the trailers a lot of the uh way that they kind of allude to certain things so i never really doubted that 
it would link up to Advent Children in any way. But of course, this also means that in the future, we very well could expect to see a re-release or a remakester in some way of Final Fantasy VII Dirge of Cerberus, which is a pretty rough game to play these days. But I feel like with Crisis Core Reunions remakester, they could finally make Dirge a enjoyable experience for a lot of people and maybe fix a lot of various elements with that story. Also, previously, they talked about remaking Dirge, but it wouldn't be anytime soon because it's technically uh, the end of the compilation or towards the end, essentially, because it takes place two years after Advent Children, I think, or one year after Advent Children, maybe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments about that. Surprising, Kitase also confirmed further story elements saying, ultimately, we're not trying to change the Final Fantasy VII story into something really different. The overall balance wouldn't really allow for that anyway. <laughs> Dexerto says, this comment might shock fans who have been theory crafting ever since the release of Final Fantasy VII Remake. The first game of the trilogy leaned hard into the idea that characters had the chance to forge a new path but it seems that won't be on the cards. I think they will be forging a new path, but the end of the path will still line up to what the uh, story ended up being anyways. Now, they even say as much here. Katasi's comments also confirm a lot of story beats that will happen with certain character deaths needing to happen for having children to take place. It's possible that they might come about in different ways, but their fates are all sealed the same. Now, big spoilers for those that did not play Final Fantasy VII original that did not play Crisis Core Reunion. I'm going to be talking about that right now. In Avon Children, the uh, the movie, as well as Avon Children, the movie too, if you don't want to see any spoilers for that or know what's going to happen in that. Throughout the entire movie, Cloud is uh, getting these visions where Aerith and even Zack are talking to him from the live stream and giving him uh, motivation, rebuilding his confidence and giving him insights as to what he needs to be doing going forward and the only way for that to happen is if they they die in uh their respective timelines or worlds right we know right now zach is currently running around in rebirth and a separate world somehow uh that is still left to be figured out there's a lot of details still revolving around that whether it's the uh, separate timeline separate world i mean they've also they've already confirmed that it's a separate world a second world and sephiroth is trying to merge the worlds in a way <laughs> and of course with the recent trailer of final fantasy 7 rebirth it's obvious it's a it's a Aerith farewell trailer because obviously the the big thing happens in the original game that shocks everybody. They're going to want to try to keep that up. And obviously with her death would make it possible for her to manipulate things in the live stream like she does in the OG game. And also uh, give Cloud his little pep talk in having children and heal a little bit of that J.O. stigma. But yeah, guys, if you're interested in checking out this Final Fantasy VII Advent Children complete re-release, getting to experience it in a theater form, which I've never done. I think that would be pretty cool. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know in the comments if you guys are going to be checking it out. I mean, it says that uh, you can actually get the tickets from like Fandango, AMC, Regal, and Adam. It'll air in the United States on February 21st in English dub and February 22nd in the Japanese sub. Official announcement is yet to come from Square Enix. However, these listings confirm that we will see a film return in the theaters in the West. People have been talking about this for about a week now, but I figured to mention it, especially since now it's been confirmed that we're going to be getting new developer interviews and gameplay before the movie starts but i want to hear what you guys think about all of that comment below let's get a discussion going be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new more final fantasy videos are on the way and you don't want to miss them my name is blitz and thanks for watching